Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to RGH Tech TV and today let's see some tips and tricks with Lenovo A2010. So firstly, let's start from the lock screen itself. From lock screen, swiping from right to left, you can launch camera application directly so that you can capture quick uh, pictures and uh, you can also launch dialer by swiping from left to right. So as you can see, and uh, you can also launch quick toggles uh, so that you can turn on the torch or if you want to use the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth option you, you need not go to home screen for that. You can do everything from the lock screen itself and you can also adjust the brightness. So now this is the home screen. As you notice you do not have the application tray. This is a custom UI from Lenovo but it's quite different from what you find on A6000 or A6000 plus or A7000 for that matter. So it's a filter down version. Uh, so you do not have may, as many as gestures and functionalities as those phones have. So, but later on, I'll tell you one launcher called as Atom Launcher, uh, which can enhance your experience and which will give you uh, many of the gestures and functionalities which you miss on this UI, right? So firstly, let's see uh, some of the tips and tricks in this UI. And later on, I'll show you how to install, I mean to say, how the Google Launcher works and also how the Atom Launcher works. So uh, if you swipe from uh, top to bottom, uh, you'll get to the notification tray when all your notifications uh, come down and uh, swipe again and you'll get to quick toggles. So you can control Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, brightness settings or even the flashlight settings from here itself. And uh, it's not customizable. So you cannot move or place uh, uh, the items uh, as as per according to your wish right so they are fixed and you cannot change them and uh, another, another thing is to directly go to quick toggles you can use the two finger gesture then you can directly go to quick toggles one second so as you can see right so uh, now the other thing is now I'll show you a lot of people were like confused uh, where does the multitasking tray come down so you do have the menu button but uh, multitasking tray uh, can be accessed by double tapping on the home button so as you can see you can uh, switch between the applications or you can remove them individually let me open some applications so that uh, you could see that so as you can see if you double tap on the home uh, button you can access uh, these multitasking tray uh, when you can switch between applications or you can remove them individually or uh, if you want to clear the memory and the RAM then you can uh, hit this uh, clean all button and it will clean all the applications which are running on the on the background now uh, let me show you how to get access to Google now so Google now is uh, something where you'll get uh, uh, customized tabs or cards which uh, will give you some suggested places to visit or some weather weather updates or uh, if you are interested in um, sports then uh, it will give some cards related to that or stocks right so it is actually customized according to your location and your preference so do use this and it will be very helpful now this phone comes with a 2000 milliamp battery which is quite decent uh, according to me and uh, I'll show you now uh, how to uh, improve that battery life so you do have battery saver mode which you can turn on uh, at the end of the day when you are out of battery so you can tap in here uh, uh, at the right top corner you have this extendable menu button tap here and you can go to battery saver mode and here uh, you can uh, turn it automatically also when it's 5 or 15 percent or you can do it manually also so you get this red accents at the top saying that uh, uh, battery saver is on so what it will do is it will disable the haptic feedback it will disable uh, many of the background features which will uh, drain your battery and it will actually give you some good battery life uh, I mean to say if you are at 10% or something so you while you come down to your house and charge in the meantime you will have enough battery uh, till you come down to house right so let's turn it off for the time being and uh, now I'll show you something which is important that is security now once you go to security so I have set screen lock to pattern and uh, you can set it to uh, swipe or voice unlock or pin or password right so uh, another thing is if here you have something called a smart lock so I'll tell you like what it is so if you're if you have some Bluetooth devices or uh, some uh, like Android watches or some devices which uh, which are trusted devices your phone will unlock when it's in proximity with that right so you can see if it's a your bluetooth watch or your car's bluetooth system or an nfc sticker 
then you don't need to unlock your phone. It will be unlocked when it's in proximity with those devices. And you also have trusted places, like if you're in home, you're in your office, then you can use that. You have a trusted voice, but trusted voice is not that secure actually. Uh, otherwise, PIN or password is most secure actually. So on body detection, so when you're holding your phone or when it's proximity uh, with your body, then it will be unlocked. So you can use these gestures, I mean to say these functionalities also. And you have something called as owner info. So what it'll do is if you uh, enable this and type in some text, then uh, it will be displayed on the, uh, what do you say, a lock screen. So uh, I'll just show you how it displays. As you can see, it displays hello. So it will display whatever content you display on this. Now the, the benefit of this is if you lose your phone and if you want people to contact you, then you can give them your alternate phone number or uh, any email ID so that they can contact you and they can reach the phone to you. So this is one of the good feature. So and apart from that, uh, as you can see, you have many things here, but don't mess up with these things. And uh, one thing which I didn't find is you don't have that screen pinning option. This runs on Android Lollipop 5.1, but you do not have those screen pinning option. Now, now what we'll do is we'll go back and we will see accessibility. And one more good thing is this also has scheduled power on and off. So you can uh, you can set the phone to uh, turn it, turn on or turn off at a particular time, uh, some specified time, right? You can use that option also. So once you go to accessibility, you have something called as magnification gestures. So you can turn this on and I'll tell you what it does. So uh, if you tap in three times, it will magnify the screen for you. And with one finger, you can move between the home pages. And with uh, two fingers, you can move in the same pages. I mean to say, you can navigate in the same page, as you can see, right? So with two fingers, you can navigate in the same page and with one finger, you can move between the pages. Now get, to get back to the normal mode, you can tap in three times, as you see. Now you can press and hold on the home screen to get the options to change wallpapers or add widgets. And uh, stock wallpapers are really not that good. So you can go with an application called as Backgrounds HD, which you can download for free from Play Store, and you'll get some good colorful wallpapers. So now I'll show you how to take the screenshots, right? So you can press the power button and the volume down button at the same time and you can take the screenshot as you can see it took the screenshot for us and you can access it through a notification tray or you can go you can also access it through gallery now the thing is uh, we also have something called a screen recorder and for that what you have to do is you have to uh, download an application called as az screen recorder it's very good i have used it on other phones also it will work on this phone also so you can uh, download that az screen recorder and you can uh, uh, what do you say you can record the screen so you can make some tutorials and put it on YouTube if you want to help others, right? So that will be helpful in that aspect. So now I'll show you how Google Now Launcher works on this device. So what you can do is you can go to Play Store and download that. And once you download that, if you, uh, you'll get this uh, icon here, home icon, which will not be present uh, otherwise. So go to this home icon and uh, as you can see, you have this Google Now Launcher. And later on also, I'll tell you about this Atom Launcher also, which is very good. I'll tell you how it works and what are the gestures and functionalities uh, it adds to this phone, right? So now you can switch to this uh, Google Now Launcher from here and hit the home button and there you go. You have the Google Now Launcher. You have this application tray here where all your applications will reside. And it looks for me like I'm using a Moto G or a Nexus device, right? So which is a good thing. Now you can swipe uh, to the, from I mean to say from left to right and you will get this uh, uh, Google Now cards which is good and you can also add these home screens uh, uh, by dragging the icons uh, to the next page and uh, so you'll dynamically uh, you'll go add on, adding on the home screens to the right side so on the left side you cannot add the home screens you'll only have this google now uh, tray and uh, uh, on the right sides you can add as many as home screens you want so which is quite good now let's go to settings and let's change this uh, uh, launcher to atom launcher the thing why i wanted to change this to atom launcher was this looks like stock but uh, the thing is it's pretty bare bones you do not have many gestures and many functionalities now let's go to atom launcher and i'll show you what we can do with that launcher let's go to home again and then let's change uh, to atom launcher and press home button 
So as you can see, now I have actually set some gestures and some functionalities. First, I'll show you how to do that. I mean to say, first I'll show you the demo of that and then, then I'll show you how to do those things. So you can swipe from anywhere, uh, even from the between of the screen and you can launch the um, notification tray, as you can see, right? Again, swipe it to get to quick toggles. Earlier, we had to go to uh, top to see some, sometimes it's very hard to reach to top. So in that case, even if you swipe from uh, between of the screen, you can get to uh, notification tray which is a cool trick right and the other thing is uh, swipe up and you'll get to Google now and uh, you can double tap to get to recently used applications now I'll show you how to change these icon packs so you can press and hold and you can go to theme settings and here as you can see you have uh, something called a change icon so click on this and you can change it to default icons. Now press the home button and there you go. You have the uh, default uh, uh, icons of the Google Now Launcher. So it pretty much looks like Google Now Launcher, but it's not. So once you are in the application tray, you can also change the layout of this one. For that, you'll have to hit this uh, arrow mark here. And uh, from here, you can select the second option and uh, firstly, you can uh, sort it between sort it from A to Z, which we couldn't do in the earlier uh, uh, stock Google Now launcher. And you can also put it into uh, this uh, uh, what do you say this vertical view, so which uh, which will be sorted from A to Z, which is a quite nice thing. And the other thing is you can also search for applications from here itself, which is quite nice thing. So now we have something called as free themes. So you have a bunch of themes over here, so which you can download for free and uh, which are really good. I, you have something called as Iron Man theme, you have uh, Black Prism, the Paris, right? You can download these, you can play around with them. And if you have any doubts, you can let me, you can let me know in the comment section and uh, I'll be uh, helping you out there, right? So, so now I'll show you how to add the gestures. So you can press and hold on the home screen and you'll get something called as launcher settings. So click on this. And uh, as you can see, you have something called gestures click on that and uh, you can set uh, swipe up on the screen to some uh, functionality as you can see I've kept it for Google now right and you can also choose between uh, uh, these options here or you can uh, uh, set it for any application to open up any applications or you can go for any shortcuts also so similar way you have like a swipe up on the dock or swipe down on atom bar swipe down on the screen right you can also double tap so I have kept uh, double tap to open recent apps or you can keep it to open camera also right so you have many more uh, options available here and uh, I'll tell you like one more thing this is called as dock so you can swipe up and you can change uh, the filters here right like uh, you can add this Lomo filter which will uh, black out the edges and it looks really cool and the other thing is you can also add some effects to the home screen so you can add this cube effect to home screen which is uh, quite good and you can also set the transparency uh, level of uh, these icons on the home screen I'll just show you that as you can see you can change the transparency of these icons on the home screen so you can actually customize many more things here which uh, will enhance your user experience so that's it guys uh, make sure to hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video or if it has helped you and also share this video with your friends and family and for more videos like this subscribe to my channel and most importantly thanks for watching